Hey guys, welcome back to Ivy Crypto. Hope you are all having a fantastic day. Today, it's that time again, the monthly meld update, one of the favorite projects that we talk about on the channel. And I love bringing you these monthly updates, especially on projects like this that are constantly building and giving us stuff to be excited about. Now, before we get into it, guys, this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. I am just a girl taking you along on the crypto journey. Now, we're going to go back to front as we always do and look at what was happening uh, in early July and then all the way up until the most recent updates. Now, guys, if you don't already know, Meld is a DeFi protocol for lending and borrowing both fiat and cryptocurrencies built on the Cardano blockchain. It was one of the first and definitely the biggest ISPO that we've ever had on Cardano. And they have a really, really great following already, uh, a very hyped uh, project that people are looking forward to and have 58,000 followers on Twitter. So if you don't already follow them guys at meld underscore labs, I'll also have the link to their discord and all the other socials in my bio. So be sure to check those out. Now going back to front, uh, meld is going to be at rare bloom. Now it's crypto conference season, crypto event season. Uh, we just had consensus recently. Um, and rare bloom is happening in october so the dates are october 14th to 15th uh, so meld's going to have a presence at the expo hall you'll be able to network and celebrate their team at the booth and beyond so if you are interested in going to any of these events then check out uh, this one it's in colorado so it's in america um, I wish I could go. Obviously, some of you may know I am uh, very much pregnant uh, going into my seventh month of pregnancy. So I won't be going to any of these, but hopefully in the next couple of years, I'll be able to catch some. Now, we also saw uh, Meld CEO Ken and a bunch of the others at Consensus 2022. Uh, so... You know, Ken typically goes to these things and he's always, he's rocking, he's rocking some Meld merch. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but I posted some of my Meld merch on my, on my profile on Twitter at IvyCrypto21. So check that out. Uh, but it's always good to see the team out. And it was, you know, I saw some other pictures and they did some funny stuff. So it was, it was obviously a good time. Now there's a really good post on uh, the Meld blog by Francesco Poziani who's one of the ambassadors that we have. And it's pretty much a year recap since the ISPO and what's been happening. And there's obviously been a lot happening. So the ISPO launched in July, 2021. And I actually can't believe it's been over a year now. It feels like yesterday that I was talking about them and that I uh, got on board as an ambassador and yeah, I can't believe it's actually been that long. It's incredible. So the ISPO launched and it obviously did insanely well. Uh, sorry, well, uh, the ambassador program launched uh, and that's when I managed to get on board as a content creator. And it's been really, really fun getting a small glimpse of, you know, behind the scenes and being able to speak to the team and be involved in some of those technical talks. And it's definitely improved my understanding of the of what goes behind these things and how things actually work. Uh, a bunch of partnerships were announced. The dashboard went live. More partnerships, as you can see. Uh, they attended the London Crypto Summit. Partnerships, Sunday Swap Network, a bunch of other stuff. Um, and the ISPO filled up uh, officially on the 27th of October, uh, 2021. Um, and then everything else that has happened since, right? The ISPO finished in December. And since then, you know, it's obviously been about seven months and lots of other stuff has happened. And you can see here, the partnerships haven't stopped. Uh, they've done some fantastic weekly Twitter spaces. Uh, and you can see here a list of all the Twitter spaces that they've done. Fortunately, most of these are when I'm asleep, but I do know that a lot of the people in the audience do enjoy them. So, um, you know, shout out to Meld for doing that. And, you know, everything that's happened since. So this is a really, really great article. I'm going to post it in my bio so you guys can have a look. Obviously, um, the Akamon Testnet beta, it's just fantastic what these guys have been able to do. And, you know, from an outsider or somebody that's not really in on crypto very often, it seems like things are going slowly. But you have to remember, guys, if you participate in the ISPO, you were literally here at the beginning. I'm talking beginning, beginning, right? So it's going to seem like things are somewhat slow, but it's completely normal when you are part of a project this early on. Um, 
you know, I'm just going to compare it to investing, you know, giving Mark Zuckerberg money when he was still uh, in, you know, in college and Facebook was just an idea in his head um, to an extent. I mean, it's not quite like that, but you get my point. It's very, very early days. So I'm going to, I'm going to have this in the bio. Feel free to read it. It's a great read. Uh, the Vasil hard fork uh, took place on the public test net successfully. Uh, that was on the 5th of July. So, you know, more strides being made on Cardano, more people uh, coming over and, um, you know, a bunch of other stuff starting soon. Uh, the engineers have been working on, on the off-chain upgrades of Akamon. Uh, they're experimenting with throughput and latency op optimizers that came with the new hard fork, and it's quite exciting. Uh, one of the best highlights in the first three days, the beta has pro processed 10,551 user requests, averaging around nine minutes per request, much better than alpha in its early days. And we talked about that in a previous video. These guys, the feedback has been fantastic. And these guys are working on every single thing that you guys have given them feedback on. Um, stability attracts builders. Meld is creating the Akamon gateway between Cardano and Polygon to bring a wave of collaboration and liquidity between the two of the best ecosystems in crypto. So I don't really talk about Polygon too much on the channel, um, but I think I will start to talk a little bit more about them as we, you know, we're in this bearish times. I think that Polygon is definitely a chain that people should be keeping a very close eye on. I think it's going to do really well in the next bull run. And I think that a lot of projects are moving over to Polygon, using Polygon. And I just think there's, there's a lot of good things to be said. So I'm going to start talking about them more on the channel. Uh, they also announced that their partner in the upcoming distribution of the bank manager NFT collection, e users will be able to use the freeloaders platform to claim their NFTs. So you can follow them at freeloaders with a Z2022. Uh, I haven't used freeloaders myself, but I know a lot of thought uh, was put into who Meld was going to use. And there was a lot of conversations um, that, you know, I got to be a part of in the ambassador chat and I know that these guys would have made the best choice. We also have a, a white paper update. It was updated in, I believe, May. Uh, yeah, May 2022. So I'm going to post that in the bio as well. But for anybody that may be new and stumbled across this video, uh, this is the best resource that you're going to get to explain what Meld is all about and how it's going to work and what they're building. And it's just, yeah, it, it's just a great resource with any project. You want to read the white paper and make sure that you're getting all the information about that project. They also posted a couple of interesting Coin Telegraph articles in the last month. Uh, three of five European respondents declared a 50% growth in their crypto investments. So, what are the shares of stablecoins, bitcoins, and altcoins in your portfolios? So, a really, you know, a good news story. I think uh, people are very quick to be. I guess, uh, down on crypto during a bear market or a bearish market, whatever we're in. But I still think a lot of people made a lot of money last year, um, including myself. And, you know, you've, you've just like any investment, there's always an element of risk. So you just have to be very careful with, with how you invest your money. Uh, now wing riders, um, has a ADA meld farm, uh, with triple yields. So the total is 35.8%. Uh, the APR is 2.281, the ADA staking APR is 3.5, and the yield APR is 30.032. Uh, so get your share of these gains by adding liquidity. I haven't used Wing Riders myself just yet, uh, but I am overdue, long overdue to do a review about these guys. So I'll, I'll do this in the next month or so. Uh, they've also Meld updated where you can buy Meld. Now, again, guys, if this is a project that you believe is a great long-term play and that you're willing to hold for a while, this is a great time to pick up more Meld. So I've been personally um, building my bags of Meld, of Wi-Fi, and of existing big cryptocurrency projects, but also new projects and NFTs. This is the perfect time uh, to build your portfolio. Uh, so you can, in terms of decentralize, I personally, I typically buy it on Sunday Swap or Muesli Swap, but you can get it on MinSwap, on Ring, on Wing Riders, Carter Wallet, Okamex, and Maladex as well. Uh, and if you want to use a centralized exchange, Bitru is a great one to go to for most new Cardano projects. Um, you've got FMFW, B Quant and uh, Changely. I haven't used the these three. I've used Bitru. Um, I quite quite like Bitru, uh, but again, I tend tend to go for um, the the DeFi, you know, the Dexes personally. But again, a great time to accumulate. Um, 
and a couple of you know tweets that these guys put out that I want to wrap up on. So they develop mailed ecosystem to fit the needs of various types of users. So crypto investors, miners, businesses, and exchanges. The protocol targets cryptocurrency users regardless of size and sophistication. And that's one of the key things I think with meld, it has attracted people, all sorts of people, not just these people, but even beyond that. And that's one of the reasons I really like this project. And I think it's going to do well in the long run, apart from the fact it's got an amazing team. They also posted security as a top priority when developing Akamon Bridge. They are surveying common bridge exploits and vulnerabilities to define security standards and checks for Akamon. So in terms of Akamon updates and stuff like that, if you don't already, you have to follow Meld um, on Twitter. Join the join the sorry join the Discord. So the link for that is in my bio. Um, and you know Discord has really been where it's at in terms of the Akamon updates. So be sure to join the Discord. And lucky last, this was the latest update on July 31st. As they work on Akamon beta testnet development, they are closing in on the Akamon beta mainnet. A non-stop job delivers results. Many small steps, best few giant steps. Stay tuned for more detailed updates coming very soon. So I feel like August is going to be a really exciting month for updates on Akamon. These guys are absolutely meld is smashing roadmap goals. Uh, it's just a fantastic team. I can't say enough how grateful I am to be a very, very small part of this. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for plenty more on crypto and for my monthly meld updates and plenty more. Get, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, what, what are you guys doing with your portfolios? Are you buying more meld? I'd love to hear all about it. As always, guys, watch this space.